Hey guys, I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies and we tangent. All right. Hopefully people will be able to see my mouth if they need to for lip reading purposes. Okay, I can see your mouth. You, I can <laughs> you see got your a mouth. pretty mouth. <laughs> I can see your mouth just fine. <laughs> what that can mouth do. <laughs> Can you see my mouth? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got like, you look like you could fly a plane. I feel like I'm like on the sidelines at a big football game and I'm like 22 oh. fucking set hut or whatever. <laughs> I asked Coach someone if, I asked someone if blue 22 was a thing and they said no. Oh, well, that's annoying. <laughs> they said maybe on defense. And I was like, what? why does I always hear blue 22 hut hike? That would be the offense, right? Yeah. Who did you ask? Because I feel like they don't know. <laughs> a football player. A professional football player? It was a high school student. I was taking a senior <laughs> pictures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's fair. There's that. Uh, guess what? This was what? full when I started trying to get out of here. Oh, good. Full. Good, so good, I'm good. Little, I'm a little toasty. <laughs> We owe you a bottle of wine, by the way, because the other night Shane was going to give himself a bath. That was a weird way to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shane was going to take a bath. Then he wanted to wind down with some wine. And he was like, do you think Sierra would be pissed if I drank her wine? And I was like, no, we'll just get her another bottle. And she'll be yeah. like, even better, because I got more wine. <laughs> I was going to say, that shit was like almost empty. So <laughs> it was like half full. So yeah. Plus, I'm like, the amount of alcohol of hours she's drank like i've drank honestly. so much of your out i keep saying i'm gonna like re- replenish but no it's I okay <laughs> well we took a shane took your wine so it's fine that's fair fair play fair play what's, what's up, up everyone <laughs> hello yeah we can't really do that in sync no i feel um, like it was it, it, it sounded okay on my end. I bet it wasn't, though. <laughs> I guess we'll find out later. Um, hi, 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 everyone. This is a a quarantine Christmas because Jerry's sick got of the, the clown. <laughs> Jerry's got the vid. <laughs> I do. I do. Almost oh, two God. years. Almost two years to the day later. Not really. I mean, we got it in January, right? Yes. January, yes. February. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. It got us again. And it sucks for me because you're like the only time I get out of my house. And then also my son. So Noah had Noah doesn't have it. So Noah is negative for it. But he is at his dad's and his dad's whole family has tested positive. So he has to be quarantined over there with them, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I'd like to talk yeah. to somebody in the health department. <laughs> I'd like but to talk to CDC. Can you give me a call? Um, but anyways, I'm following the rules, so it's fine. His vaccine must be working freaking overtime for him <laughs> right guess. now. Well, he so. got it like semi recently, didn't he? Noah? Yeah. He's never tested positive that I know. No, no, no. Of. I mean I... the vaccine. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it uh beginning of the de- not, yeah, beginning of December. Yeah, see, I feel like I was due for a booster, and so That's I what, didn't get my booster in time. Same with my with Noah's dad and his wife. They both were, like, super due for boosters, and so they got actually pretty sick. I feel terrible yeah. for them. But Noah didn't at all. I mean, he had a headache, but now we're realizing that's probably just from, like, staring at a screen. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a uh, COVID symptom, but no. Yeah. Turns out he just watches a lot of TV. <laughs> well, Omicron's got me feeling like Omicron crap a little bit. Yeah. But, um, I can't even imagine. It, it's, it's, I can't even compare it to the first time I had it. One, because I didn't know I had it the first time. But two, I yeah. was in my first trimester with Forrest so, when like, I had it the first time. Yeah, how do so it's you hard know to tell. what is? Yeah. Right. Um, but I will say, I think I texted today that like I was, I couldn't tell if I had shortness of breath or if I was having a panic attack. Yeah. Um, and I have noticed that just in the past couple days, I have felt like my, um, I almost wanted to say that like my my medication wasn't working anymore, like my Zoloft wasn't having the same effect as it was, but also I have COVID. So like right. 
<laughs> it's right. a it's a bit hard to tell. Um, that plus you have COVID over the holidays, and I'm just it's like right. a lot. So right. Your Zola right. is also working overtime. <laughs> Truly. I think the other the I think the other reason I was questioning it working wasn't because of how I was feeling emotionally, but how I was feeling mentally. I started something that I didn't realize wasn't normal. There's was a lot of negatives in that sentence. I hope it made sense. <laughs> <laughs> but something I didn't realize wasn't normal was having a, an inner monologue going constantly. So that's not normal? No. Is no. yours quieter now? Yes. I gotta get on medication. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I remember I was I remember I was standing there and I don't know if I said this to Rachel or if I was talking on the podcast. So apologies if I'm repeating myself, but I remember I was buttering toast and I was like, oh my God, I just went for I don't know how long without a thought. <gasps> like it was just quiet. And it wasn't that like I was zoned like out. A dream. It wasn't like I was a zombie. It just was like quiet. Yeah. In my mind. No, what I remember one time when Noah was, uh, I think I was either pregnant or Noah was a baby. So I was talking to Noah's dad and I'm a freak. So like anytime that anybody's quiet for too long, I'm like, what are you thinking about? Like, it has to be something. Cause you know, yep. you're deep in thought and he's like nothing. And I was like, what? And he's like, I, was just sitting here enjoying being here and i'm like but but i know but like you have <laughs> thoughts all the time right and he's like no and i was like what <laughs> yep I, I have thoughts all the time i did that i've done that to shane before and he had the same reaction and i i think that people uh feel like that's a man woman type thing and it's not i think it's a neurodivergent <laughs> I was going to say, if you ask, if you ask my ADHD son, he'll tell you, because I think as we get older, we realize like, Hey, I don't have to say everything I'm thinking all the time, Yep. but Noah doesn't understand that. Yeah. And sometimes if he doesn't take his medication, he'll just be talking. And I'm like, what are you saying? <laughs> like, it's just nonsensical. Like yep. he's just talking. And then he's like, Oh, I'm just. It's what's in my brain, so I'm just saying it. I'm like, I need you to not <laughs> yeah. just for just for five minutes. But I feel well, bad because I know I know how he feels in his brain that that's constant. Well, that was that had somewhat stopped for me once I started taking Zoloft, and like in the beginning, it was almost to a point where I was like concerned. I I made like a mental note. I was making mental notes every day, like checking in with myself. Hey, how am I feeling? What am I noticing? What's different? What's the same? Whatever. Um, and I noticed in the beginning the the bouts of silence in my head, I guess. I don't know another way to say that. <laughs> but just like yeah. the periods of silence in my mind that I went without thought. And then I noticed like um, the severity of my emotions were not as high and not as low. They were like more moderate. Um, and then as time went on, I started to feel more emotions both ways, not to the extreme extreme that I normally had. Like one time, oh, fuck, I was texting my friend. I have to look this up <laughs> because what I said was absolutely ridiculous because <laughs> I was explaining to her that I just will cry over absolutely nothing. Here it is. Okay. I was listening to a podcast and someone was talking about multi-level marketing and they said the phrase multi-level marketing and I started crying. What? I, I don't know. That is how <gasps> off my fucking rocker I was that someone could say a phrase, a nothing phrase, and I would cry <laughs> out of nowhere. Yeah. It was almost like my brain strapped into a roller coaster and she said multi-level marketing and I pictured a mom who was just trying to get herself out of a shit situation, signing yeah. up for something with her last dollar and then having thousands of Lululemon or no, not Lululemon, LuLaRoe leggings in her house. <laughs> and not yeah. being able to sell them. And now she, her children are basically eating pants <laughs> because yeah. they don't have anything else. I'm sorry, but we do have so many leggings that you can wear. 
<laughs> I strap yeah. these leggings to your body. You will be so very warm, but you yeah. will be hungry. Like, <laughs> I don't know if that's what was happening. Like, because my brain didn't go down that train of thought. No, All it heard it was, was multi-level immediate. marketing and it was, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying for that. And so when I got on the loft, like that stopped. But oh, good. But I was at our cousin's wedding and I saw uh, our uncle do a first look with our cousin, who I'm very close with, and I yeah. felt nothing. And I was like, <gasps> that's, a, that's a bit of a red flag to me because this feels like a moment I should cry. But that was also... <laughs> now you know how I feel. Well, you just described what happens to you and then you immediately described ha- what happens to me. <laughs> So Where it's this, like, this is a sentimental moment. I should be feeling feelings. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. now I feel like I'm in the middle. I I, I leveled out. That was, the wedding was like right after I started. It was like day two. So like my body yeah. hadn't normalized, like regulated yet. But yeah. now I'm having the racing thoughts again. I'm having very little period of time of like breaks in between. I am feeling the urge to like fill gaps of time with stuff. I'm having trouble just like sitting still. Um, Yeah. And my doctor, when she prescribed it, told me she gave me enough um, that I could take two a day. Oh. But start with one. So I'm thinking that I might just up it test it out see how i feel um sure because i i i had the panic attack today and i the hard thing is i don't know what's a normal amount of panic i don't know what's a normal <laughs> amount of anxiety for a person to have because i've had what so do much normal so people long. feel <laughs> yeah. that's what i'm saying is like i experienced those moments of quiet in my brain and peace in my body and now that i know what that feels like for like multiple weeks in a row to yep. go back i'm like uh uh-uh. uh no 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 i hate this <laughs> yeah. fuck that that's not fair no that's no. not how normal people live i want to go back Get or <laughs> drugs that's where i'm at yeah. right now so. understandable yeah i get it i'm at the point where i'm like give me any drugs because i'm having i'm having a rough time did your sister tell you your sister did a reading for me. She so mentioned I, we it, talked she about, didn't go into detail. So okay. she just mentioned she so did it. I was like, I don't know what to ask. And she's like, I can't really do like future predictions too much. And I was like, well, can you just tell me like what, how 2020 is going to go? Or like what I should be looking for? I'm you kind of feeling You know that 2020 was last year. Did I say 2020? I meant 2022. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, I'm where really am I? Did I just jump universes? <laughs> The last time that we did this was in 2020. So oh, yes, that's confusing. true. Um, so I wasn't really looking for anything when I said it to her. It, but in the back of my mind, I had things in mind that I was questioning. And when she presented me with them, I was like, <gasps> it was everything that I was thinking, but not saying to her or anybody. Except I had said it to Corey. So then I'm laying in bed and we all know that Corey's like super skeptic all the time. And I was like, listen to this. Listen, it is so dead on to what I've been feeling. Anyways, my spirit guides are really worried about me. <laughs> okay. They think that I, um, they think I'm in a bit of a rough patch, which I am. Uh, uh-huh. I think with new parenting and they said that I need to, I'm allowed to take time for myself basically and then i need to hold on i have to look at exactly what she said because it was Did like she text it to you yes oh okay. she sent me the whole thing and then we talked about it a little bit and she was saying like she said she elaborated yes um <laughs> she said i start w- reading but i'm so awkward because i'm like this is so fucking off but your guys are like bitch read them cards and i was like no you were dead on dead on but she didn't know it because I hadn't talked to her about any of this. So she was like, this is so awkward that I'm sending her this. And yeah. I was like, no, it was exactly what I needed. She said, they're concerned about your mental health, not to make it awkward, but they want you to trust you are of high intelligence, but your trauma is really stopping you. I know. Okay. Said, what's I'm sorry weird is that is something I'm going to bring up. 
She said, I'm sorry if that's awkward to say, but I thought you should know. I said, thank you. That's that's what I literally days ago. I got on birth control, everybody not having any more babies. (laughs) So when I was there, I was talking to the healthcare provider about postpartum depression. I was like, I don't know if it can hit this late, but I'm starting to not feel joy or um, excitement over things that used to give me that. I'm starting to feel that nothingness again to where things that I'm like, this should be a sentimental moment. I feel nothing. And I'm getting to where I just want to lay in bed with the baby all day and literally not leave, just lay in bed. And then it'll be 5 p.m. And I'm like, I haven't eaten or gotten us out of bed. <laughs> like, yep. I mean, I'm feeding her, so she's fine. I'm changing her. She's good. But for me, I'm not taking care of myself. So, um, sorry. She said my son, She there was a card that said the son in reverse was saying that you've gone through so much and it's time to take time for relaxation and self-care. You need to recharge yourself because maybe it's just that your batteries are running low and not that you're not happy anymore. And I was like, damn. Well, damn. that's kind of what we talked about with burnout versus depression, how we and don't I necessarily know be- which is which. Yes, I can't tell right now because she she was talking to me about getting on medication and I was like, I just want to wait a little bit because I, I'm not definitely not against medication, obviously, right. but I also don't want to throw more at my body, <laughs> especially since I just got a hormonal birth control. I don't right. want to throw more home, like anything in the mix um, right. until I figure out what it really is. But yeah, I said... I was saying thank you so much. And she was like, I want to take credit, but I can't because your guides told me and like they know everything. So it was an unfair advantage. And I was like, well, they nailed it. I'll I'll give you the whole the whole read off off of here. But it was very much like, oh wow, I didn't realize how much I guess I'm struggling because it's just a lot. Like it's a lot to and I hate this time of year. Let's just be transparent about that. I yeah. have been very vocal about how much I don't like the holidays. Um, because I'm a ch- I am was telling my mom this because she's like, when do you think that started? Because my aunt passed away on Christmas. So I didn't yeah. know if like that was why maybe. But I said, honestly, I have hated it since childhood because being a child of divorced parents, uh, the holidays were never fun for me because it was always like I had, was just getting into having fun and then I was ripped away to another place. It was constantly like about back someone else. Yes, always. Yeah. Well, you have to go see these people because they want to see you, Sierra. Yeah. Well, what if I'm having fun here? And I remember we would go to Grandma Jean's. I loved hanging out with you and you guys were all my age. Like you were my best friend and I had a lot of fun at her house. Um, and then my mom would be like, well, we have to go to your step families. And I, yeah. I didn't care about that. No, if, I mean, like, but they were all older. Yeah. We were the youngest. So we were always just like sat in a corner, basically doing like watching them have their thing. We also, that wasn't my family family. So it didn't right. feel like, and it was so disheartening that I would get like ripped away from the place I wanted to be because, well, you have to come to this one. People want to see you for the holidays. So we had a big discussion about that. And it's just like, I think that that's the thing that people don't talk about a lot either is divorce families for holidays is tough. It's tough. Because it's so much thrown at you. Yeah. And so, I, that's something that like, and as a kid, the holidays are already overstimulating because we've talked about before, it's a different schedule and there's like so much. My kids... I think this is the first year that they were like aware of like gifts. And so yeah. we just did my family uh, Christmas before we hopped on here. And obviously my family's quarantined. So we just like did it over Zoom. Yeah. My parents and my sisters, my brother-in-law, my nephew were at my sister's house and we were all here. And so like, it's strange because we can't always hear each other and we're not yeah. really looking at each other and Ollie like wants to interact with them, but they can't interact with him because they're either like not hearing him or they don't see him um, or they're doing something else. And then when we were opening gifts, they opened the first gift and they were like, good. They were good to go. They were wanting to play. Yeah. And Shane was like, okay, here's another one. And they're like, I have one. Like, I don't. Yes. 
I don't care that about that. That was always how Noah was. He yeah. was like, well, this is good. Like, I like this. I want to play with this now. <laughs> Which I was grateful for because I was like, oh, cool. My kids aren't feeling that, like, uh, nothing's good enough. Yeah, yeah. And, but, but we had to keep the night going. So it was like, but you got to go more. I don't, it was, it was, it was just tough. It was tough yeah. because obviously it's not how you want to have that. And I wish we could have been together. Um, but alas, the vid. Um, yes. That's how we decided. Um, because Noah was like, do you just want a video and you can open my presents? Um, and I was like, no. Like, I don't. I want you to be here. Even if it's not. Because I have been trying to tell myself. Because I was devastated when I found out that he was right? going to be court. Anyway. Like, I had a real hard time with it because for the people that don't know um we do like an every other week thing but also for holidays big holidays like christmas and new years and things like that we do every other year so this was also supposed to be my year for him to wake oh. up at my house yeah this was my holiday so it we're really good about like um splitting the holiday up but that's the one big thing i love you know who's gonna wake whose house is he gonna wake up at and this was my year for that. So I already didn't have it last year. Now I'm not going to get it this year. And like, I love that moment. For me, Christmas is like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but yeah. I love that excitement. And I'll, everybody's like, well, you have Sawyer. Like, like she gives a shit. <laughs> she doesn't. Truly, truly. And, <laughs> and I don't, I don't want to speak for you, but I'm going to. This okay. is also <laughs> the first year that you have been financially stable enough to provide Noah with the Christmas that you want to provide him with. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to get emotional over FaceTime. Cause that's also what I told my mom is like, I, then after my aunt passed away, I hated Christmas because being a single mom, it is awful. It's a, it's, you just feel bad about yourself because you feel like, look at everything that everybody else can do for their child. And I can't do that. And I would scrape I would save for the whole year to buy him less gifts than I was seeing everybody else give, you know, their kids. And not, yeah. he never cared. That was the thing. It was never like that he cared about it. But for me, I felt like I had to. And this year I was finally like, oh my God, I can give him a good Christmas for the first time ever since he's been yeah. alive. And now he's not here for it. But, but yeah. I have been trying to, it's just a day. We can have this day. I th I figure we could do it on New Year's Eve and then just have it like that's our day for it. But it's been tough. <laughs> yeah. And I don't want anyone listening to think that like you have to spend a certain amount on your kids you for it to be special. But I knew that that was something that like has always been hard for you. And so yeah. like this would have been the first time where you didn't beat yourself up. Like you yes. never needed to, but this was the first no. time where you weren't going to feel it. Yes, so. exactly. And it was never about like giving him what he, like everything and more. Cause yeah. I'm a minimal anyways. I don't like things right. that take up. And we just did a huge toy drive of his. So we took a ton of, that's like a good thing that I like to do too. Let's get rid of all these toys you don't play with anymore and right. give them to, or things you didn't open. Cause he gets so many right. gifts from so many people. So then we give them to children who need them. Cause I've been there. Um, uh, but it, it, it's also just like, I don't know. I want it to feel like special. I want it to feel, I, th I told Corey, I was like, this is why I don't think we should do Santa <laughs> 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 or if we do, I've decided if we do it, Santa only brings stocking gifts and that is it. We're done with doing like Santa. He doesn't even the leave the chimney. No, bitch. I want credit. <laughs> my credit. <laughs> <laughs> mommy got you that because mommy knows you so well <laughs> no, I'm just yes. it's not anything about that but i just that was always hard for me because noah would go to school and talk about what they all got and then it was tough because santa was bringing people ipads and phones and i was like santa yeah. santa bright you would santa good santa's doing his best okay santa worked with a lot of shifts to get you those things <laughs> oh. but anyways we we're going to do a different episode, but the episode that we wanted to do this week, it wasn't going <laughs> to yeah. make sense at all. No. Like, not that it wouldn't make sense, but it was just one that I felt like 
we need to be in person for. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a yeah. fun one. And it's one that you guys have been requesting. And it's like, I don't want that to be the one we do virtually. So we kind it's of. It's also a lot of information. And I like, I yeah. kind of, it, it's a lot. Yeah. So I want to be able to stare into your eyes across the couch <laughs> while mm-hmm. we do that. Um, As is natural. <laughs> so we decided for the last episode of the year to be kind of what now I guess we can consider a tradition since this is the second time we're doing it. Yeah. Let's our make third, it a tradition. This is our third New Year's episode. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>! <laughs> Freeze frame. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> um, this is going to be fun for people to watch. <laughs> I know. This is our third New Year's. And we, last year, I went through and listened to the previous year and found clips where we sounded kind of like we were, I called us dirty bitch soothsayers, which is really fucking funny. (laughs) It's funny. (laughs) I think that must have come from uh, another one of our episodes. I think we talked about soothsayers. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we did. Well, what, when I was talking to your sister, when she did my, you know, she was like, we have witches in our family, like a lineage thing. And I was yeah. like, oh, I, I knew it when we, me and Jerry accidentally predicted the future <laughs> and also yes. have manifested so many things. Wow. So many things. That's why this episode is so fun to me <laughs> because <laughs> I went back and listened to our 2020 into 2021 episode and picked out some clips that I want to play for you and (laughs) discuss them. And then I have um, some things that we're thankful for. We're going to do that bit. And then um, I also have should manifest, but (gasps) I did. Sorry. Sorry to everyone listening. I only did Gemini cancer and Sagittarius (laughs) because Sierra and I are both with Sagittarius men. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> but if you go to instyle.com, they've you got You can it. find yours. You can find your own. <laughs> so do that. We're not okay. doing the work for you. <laughs> we have We're so not. much to do. <laughs> okay. So here is the first clip. Oh my God. Hold on. I have to make sure it's like turned all the way up. It's like I've always felt warm and like. <laughs> and I've made people feel safe. So thank you. I am an, I am a homely child. <laughs> Oh, maybe you just manifested that. Maybe we're going to listen to this next year and you're going to be like, wow, I am warm. <laughs> I'm a, I want to be a safe space. Oh, I really do. Is that what you want to be? Yeah, I want to be a safe space. What if I physically... <laughs> Is that not wild? I'm crying. Is that not wild? Wow. Wow. Those of you who are new or haven't listened, like, or, or like have found us since we've blown up. As of this time last year, no one knew who we were. (laughs) We had max, like what? 200 listeners, maybe. Yes. That was max. And half of them were people who knew us. More than half. The majority of them were people who knew us. Who either we asked to listen, went to high school with us, like yep. we're local. Um, People who knew you from your photography business, like that yeah. was. <laughs> that was. Oh my. It. So at the end of 2020, before going into 2021, all you wanted was to be a safe space. That made me so <laughs> emotional. <laughs> Is that not wild? Like, wow. I sat down today when I was prepping for this and I was like, I want to figure, I want to write down what I was grateful for this year. And so I went to my 2021 photo album and I just went through all of the things that, um, all of the pictures and videos for 2021. And I was, of course, I played like a really sad playlist with it too, to make myself feel like I was in a movie. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And so you have to, I'm just crying because we didn't take our photos and create this backdrop until January 29th. Really? 
He didn't even start posting until February. Wow. Isn't that insane? That is insane. Well, it was right before I found out that I was pregnant. (laughs) It was very early. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm that really got me. Holy shit. Because I think the thing that I want people to know is like, yeah, we've blown up, but it was never about like, it was never a financial thing. It was never a popularity thing. Like, oh no, is this the floor? You, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so that's, I literally, that's all I wanted for people to feel like they had something. And it's something that we've constantly been told. To the point where I don't want people to feel like um, it's like, yeah, yeah, we hear it. Like every time you say it, it hits me there. Like every yeah. single time. That's why knowing a year ago where I was like mentally, because um, a year ago around this time I had just had a miscarriage and I was very like, I didn't know if having another child was in the cards for me. It was like a very emotional time. So. Yeah. And like, we were going that- to quit the podcast. We were, yes, we had a discussion about stopping. So to know that like my only goal really was to just make other people still, still in the midst of all that, I'm patting myself on the back. (laughs) You should, you should. That's a really beautiful thing. I think that that's still what I was thinking about. Yeah. And then that we did it. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I know that. And like. The reason that we do this is because we're very, very lucky. We're very fortunate to have these conversations preserved. I, yeah. I don't know about you, but like, I am not good at keeping a journal. We've talked before about <laughs> how I'm a collector of notebooks, but like, I don't fill them out. I do one page and then I'm like, I need a new notebook. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I don't look at it for months, yes. but like, this is like our our diary essentially. And so we get to go back and hear what we said a year ago and be like, okay, did this happen? Did we meet these goals? Um, do we think we're stupid as fuck? (laughs) (laughs) Always. (laughs) Often. Yes. Often. Yes. That's the case, but it's just really cool to be able to go back and hear who we wanted to be like, and it, it makes me just want to go back and like hug uh, me too. 20, 29 year old Jerry and Sierra. And be like, wait till you see what's coming. Yes. <laughs> we had no clue. We no had no clue. idea. We had no uh, idea. There was also a part I thought I I thought that I screen recorded it, but I didn't, where you were talking about being a safe space and you're like, oh no, what if I end up with like 18 cats? <laughs> <laughs> Which was even funnier because how many cats <laughs> have you have almost saved? rescued this year? <laughs> Literally. Damn. <laughs> I'm really mad about that a lot. <laughs> I know. Freaking funny. Okay. Corey's like, anytime anybody calls me and they're like, hey, I have a cat situation. And I'm like, Corey, I got to go. He always looks at me and I was like, you know who I was. You knew who I was <laughs> when you got into it. <laughs> like, this is not my fault. You knew. <laughs> You knew I would drop whatever to go save an animal in need. That's just who I am. <laughs> oh, Sierra and I have not um, mentioned this yet, but we uh, are now a Stitcher podcast. We recently <gasps> just signed with Stitcher. Yeah. And whenever I went to Sierra's house to sign the paperwork, I'm standing there and I'm like, is there a cat on my back? And her cat had like started started climbing my goat. <laughs> it just was like attached like this. <laughs> yes. She's still a kitten. She got into she dove head first into my fucking Christmas tree today. <laughs> like it was a swimming pool. She was like <laughs> I love her so much. I wish I wasn't so deathly allergic to cats. I know. She's a good kitty, but she's insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yes. Also, sorry to everyone for how gross I sound. I cannot do anything about it. I'm terribly <laughs> congested. I hate it as much as you do. Okay. Hey, here's Here. the thing. Wait, about COVID. Um, if you feel like you have just a head cold or like a sinus situation, go get tested because it's yes. not just a cough. It's not just a dry cough. I've heard so many people like, oh, I just have a cold. It's just a sinus thing. And then like so many of those people then test positive for COVID. So See, please go get tested if you have any symptoms 
of that's a cold what happened to me. I had, I told Shane, I was literally cleaning and I was like, Shane, I'm having trouble breathing and I have a tickle in my throat. I think I have COVID. He's like, bitch, calm down. Okay. You do not have COVID. I'm like, I swear to God, I have COVID. He's like, you have a panic disorder. Okay. That's why you can't breathe. <laughs> and so I'm like, I'm telling you, I have COVID. And so the next day Boy, did I start coughing and coughing and I'm like this, I need to go get a test. So I went and I got an at home test and then I came home, we did it and it was negative. I and I was, I, like, sex. I was like, no, wow. no, we did the test. <laughs> we did Although, it. And then I took the does, test. I think having sex does clear your nasal passages. So I might have to try that, but yeah. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Will do. I've also got a flex disc in, so I'll let you know how that goes <laughs> as well. Hey, did I tell you my lady told me that I couldn't use those if I have an IUD? Oh, that's really the suction. I'm going to try it out. <laughs> I'm the just flex, see what I wonder if the disc or if it's a cup. Because that's what I said. It's not a cup, but she was like not listening to me. She heard like menstrual thing and she was like no tampons only and i was like you don't fucking know what i'm talking about <laughs> ah we'll have to contact our team or something <laughs> yeah. okay um, that's how you go anyway so came home did the test and it was negative and i was like oh guess it's just a sinus thing and that's i did have everybody that i know they've all taken the test it's been negative the first time and then about two days later it's positive Sorry, exactly go ahead. So I had like phlegm and I'm like, well, COVID is a dry cough. It's not a phlegmy cough. But then the next day I woke up, I was coughing so badly that I almost threw up. But I was throwing up because of the, sorry, oh, trigger. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'm talking about gagging. Um, but I, skip ahead. I'm going to keep talking about it. Sorry. Um, I started to gag because of the phlegm breaking yep. up. It's like and, in the back of your throat. Yeah. And so I yeah. went and I took a test again and it was immediately positive. It was positive as fast as my pregnancy test was positive. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, like, bitch, you got it. <laughs> uh huh. And I was like, well, Christmas is canceled. I have fucking COVID. Yeah. Um, and then like, we all have the cough. We all need to get tested again just to like make sure. But like, I know that we all have it. Yeah. Um, why did I start telling that story? Hold on. There was a reason. Because I said there something about if you were snotty to go get Oh, tested. I think I was just apologizing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I was just apologizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it just because you're nasally, which you can't help. Yeah, yeah. What no, do you want I... us to do? Skip an episode and then you're mad at us anyways. We can't do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> we can't well, do it. I just feel like when it rains, it freaking pours, doesn't it? Oh, um, yes. for those hey. of you asking about moment house merch orders have been placed please check your emails because there was like 15 people whose uh colors need to be changed yeah. for their merch pieces five people at this point in time when we're recording on thursday haven't gotten back to us yet so please check your emails to see if you're one of those people um other than that the orders have been placed they should be coming out to you um and the merch shop is open Woo! We got merch, baby. For I, everybody. For everybody. I'm saying that now. I don't know don't. if this is going to be in the episode. We're going to find out, okay? That yeah. we're putting it out into the universe that the merch shop is open. Open and working. Merry Ooh. Christmas, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Here's the next one. Okay. When I don't know my rights and lefts off the top of my brain, that's a fucking mental disorder. <laughs> I only do because of my ring. Ring right. I know, but what happens if I get my... Well, I'm never getting engaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm just, no, I'm, I'm taking it back. I'm just kidding. I'm getting engaged next month. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, me too. Congrats to me. <laughs> I was a couple months off, but I did it, baby. <laughs> you did. You got engaged this year. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Isn't it? Wow manifest i think did we write that on my manifestations when we yes, manifest well, okay things? if you guys go back and listen to that episode we talk about all of the things that you manifested and how you lost it in Corey's car and he was <laughs> like <laughs> i found your diary and that was so like, embarrassing why are you nervous about school you're already on the deed list 
<laughs> that was oh, very oh. embarrassing. Which I did get on, by the way. Ah! I know. <laughs> well, that was another one that's coming up here. We'll just keep okay. going through them. Let's do it. Sorry, this is a screen recording, so it's like I can't tell. Okay, here it is. I decided to go back to school this Yay! year. And you're on the dean's list. I'm on the dean's list. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was the one thing that I wanted to do eventually was to do something that I want to go like that I get up and I look forward to doing mm-hmm. because every job that I've had has been a job. It's like, okay, I'm making I'm doing this to make money. Right. And I want to do something because I'm making a difference, not making money. Right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just said that. I never fucking thought it would be this. <laughs> Me neither. Me neither, dude. That was a shock. <laughs> Honestly. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> the universe. I did that for you. No, I'm Thank kidding. So I did much. that. I did that for all of you. <laughs> I've <did> everything <laughs> else for you. <laughs> you really have. Thank you. You, you did it. <laughs> I just helped to manifest it. No, oh, I, a thousand times couldn't do this without you. I know, me too, baby, me too. <laughs> because oh, I think that's the part that is coming up. Oh, is it playing? Hello. Setting goals okay. like I'm gonna get all A's. I just want I want okay. to push myself to work as hard as I can. Okay, that's where I think that is a tough resolution because. <laughs> That to me sounds like a moving target yeah. because what is working hard now versus what's working hard maybe when you are feeling depressed or anxious yeah. are two totally different they things. Are. And so if the, if you don't, if it's not, wow. flexible, you can feel like a failure and I don't want you to feel like a failure. True. I'm not saying change your goal. I'm just saying. <laughs> change your goal. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want you to get discouraged. That's so true. That's I so know. true. Because right now. This, but behind the scenes, Sierra and I have had that exact conversation recently. Yeah. I've had that so much with so many people because I, that was one of the things when I read to you what one of the things was like you're you're losing motivation and like your career and things like that. And I was like, that is what was breaking my heart because I fucking love doing this. Oh, and it said something like you feel like you're not doing enough career wise. And I was like, that has been my biggest thing that I haven't really told a lot of people is that I feel, especially because I just had a baby and had to go on maternity leave and had to do blah, 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 all those things. It's like, I feel like you're carrying the majority of the load and you are. And I want you to know that and that I appreciate that a hundred percent. But now I'm like, I want to do more. I want to be as much a contributing part of this (laughs) as I can. But sometimes it's like, enough for me to just remember that like I'm keeping a person alive (laughs) so that's a lot it's a lot because newborns suck the life out of you quite literally (laughs) like yeah and so it's just like I know I'm not going to be like this forever I have to keep remembering like this is not a forever thing you're going to get back to yourself like but I don't want to I don't want to get back to it. And then it's like, I've, I'm nothing. You know what I mean? Like I'm just the person that shows up here once a week. You know what I'm saying? No, you want to be all in. I want to be all in. Because I love this. I wanted a job that I love and I love this. That's why whenever I heard myself say that, I was like, did I, did I like fuck this up for her (laughs) unintentionally (laughs) by saying that? Because When you were making that goal for yourself, you were like, I just want to learn as much as I can and I want to work as hard as I can. And I was like, that's a great goal, but also bit, bit uh, ambiguous. (laughs) So hard to (laughs) achieve because that's start throwing pebbles before you throw rocks, baby. (laughs) I mean, that's that's like a boulder. You're like trying to write. So. Do everything. I was in real fucking boss babe mode. 
girl boss boss me. Oh, and that's that was great that you had this like motivation and you had this I like did. really positive outlook. And I think that that's probably what carried you for so long. You had to to go back to school to yeah. put yourself out there and, and um go into these new ventures, I feel like you had to be in that mindset because there's no it, way you were going to pursue those things in a self-deprecating, I can't do this kind of mindset. Yeah. And at that time, we had no idea that the podcast was going to do what it did. None. And None. so I was truly just thinking about school. I also, at that point, was hopeful that I would get pregnant. But when the podcast started to take off a little bit, you and I had a sit down discussion and I was like, I'm done trying. Like if it didn't yep. happen for me this month, I'm done. Um, I want to focus on this as much as I can. And I was pregnant when we had that conversation. <laughs> yep. I just didn't know. But I was Let's fully see. ready to like put it on pause. One, because it was a lot mentally. And two, I was just like, I want to focus on this. I didn't realize that this was going to do what it, what it was going to do. Okay. So then it was... I. I remember when we hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. Yes. I remember having a panic attack and I was talking to someone and saying, I think this is where we like peak. Like yeah. we have reached all that we're going to reach. Like these, yep. there's no way that more than 10,000 people are going to be interested in something that we that say. That we have to say. Yeah. That are going to find us interesting. Yes. And now I'm like, oh, um, <laughs> I guess that's not true. Turns and out. it turns out being human and struggling and um, pooping your pants <laughs> and being having so body hair. <laughs> I was going to say being totally transparent about body hair, about your bowel movements, about periods, about literally everything that we go through is just normal human beings and yeah. abnormal human beings. <laughs> yeah. It's more, more hitting home than we thought it would. Well, and that's, um, I don't know if you were over there um, at our cousin's wedding, <laughs> our dads brought another one of their friends over and was like, tell them about your podcast. Tell them, <laughs> tell them what it's about. And I go, I don't know. We're just, Humans, we're just humans. talking about human experiences, normalizing shit that happens to literally everyone that everyone else is afraid to talk about. Yeah, because I don't want another person to hate themselves for just human experience be existing. Yes, because yeah. the idea that all of us are going to get through life without trauma is not real. It's not nope. real. Nope. To different degrees, yes, we're all going to experience it, and. It, it, but we've said a thousand times it's not a competition. And if we can help someone feel like they're not alone in these terrible, terrible thoughts that they're having, like yeah. that is one of the most important things other than being a mother and a wife that I'll ever do in my yeah. life. Yeah. So if this is forever, amazing. Uh, let's manifest that. I want yes. it forever. Me too. I want to stay forever, man. Ever. Is Drake problematic? I, don't think I feel so. like he's gotten I I think he's got some things with the young women. Oh, okay. So well <laughs> crap. But what do I know? <laughs> Pick a different song, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but we do want this forever. <laughs> yeah, but I do want this forever. Um, I'm manifesting that right now. Yes. I now I feel like I, now that Powerful. I know this is a tradition, I just want to be like, let's speak this. Let's speak it into existence. Yes. What can I say now? That in a year from now, I'll hear me say it and be like, yeah, baby. Yeah, it'll bring tears to my eyes because that's what's maybe, been happening this whole fucking episode. <laughs> maybe, maybe not baby. No, no more babies and tangents. No, no, no. I I got this shit in me for seven years and no babies here. Baby unless one, I say so. <laughs> baby one for my sister. <gasps> yeah. Does she want a baby? Should I be, should I be specific? My yeah. middle sister. <laughs> there you go. She wants another baby? I don't know. If you want one, Sam. <laughs> I was like, that's a lot one. to put on her. <laughs> if you want one, if you don't want one, then you won't have one. Yeah. If you do want one, she's going to be beautiful. <laughs> she's going to be so, oh my God, little ladies and tangents. <laughs> oh, cute. We, we need, need another one because I had, I didn't have one. 
No. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I think this is the last one. (laughs) Okay. And this one is something that I said instead of, I think this is the only one that I've said so far. Okay. Here it is. Is pursue passion projects without fear of failure. So all I said was pursue passion projects without a fear of failure, which that's what this was. Yes. And yes, that's literally a hundred percent what this was. I feel like, that I really tried to lean into this year is that failure doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. And um, all it is is an opportunity to learn and grow and make adjustments. And that quitting something doesn't have to mean you failed. It just means you either recognized it wasn't for you yes. or you weren't having fun or... um. It you brought found something you better? Yeah. yeah. Or like learn. One of the things that I wanted that I made my um, resolution was just to continue going to therapy, which nailed it. Yes, girl. I've officially gone to therapy for a whole year. Yes. Um, and I can confidently say that I am a happier, healthier, more stable, (laughs) confident version of myself. I know that I'm allowed to say no if I want to say no. And I don't always beat myself up about it. Yes. Uh, I have so many more tools than I did before. And I am so grateful that I took the steps that I did when I was hurting the most that I've ever hurt to get me to where I am now. And it was even, even things like that, because I don't, I know I said pursue passion projects without a fear of failure, which is what I think we did with this. But also I started pursuing everything without a fear of failure. So like this sounds stupid, but I was afraid to call the doctor because yeah. I thought the doctor was going to tell me that there was nothing wrong with me and that I was just going to feel stupid. Invalidated. Yeah, hurting. Uh, yeah. Or that I wasn't working hard enough. And same reason I didn't want to call a therapist. And now I'm not afraid to ask for help because I mm-hmm. don't, I'm not afraid of rejection. I'm not mm-hmm. afraid. Um, it's, it was a very scary thing to start. Yeah. Especially because, and I don't think we've ever gotten into this, but a lot of that comes from trauma. It comes from, it's a learned behavior that you have. And to confront things like that means you're confronting things that have uh, previously made you feel unsafe. Mm -hmm. And that is a very hard thing to do to yourself is to intentionally make yourself be uh, in an unstable situation. Um, So, I'm very, I'm very proud. Good. You should be. I'm very proud. I'm proud of you and I'm proud of us. (laughs) Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. (laughs) So. Yes. Do you want to talk about what you were grateful for this year? Like good things this year? Oh, so many, so many. That's the thing too, that I'm trying to, not that I'm really try because that's toxic positivity and again to be like don't be upset because look at all the good things so i'm telling you right now if that's in your brain if you've had a good ass year but you're upset for any reason don't do that to yourself you don't have to yeah. do that to yourself you're yeah. allowed to feel those feelings you're allowed to feel sadness around the holidays or a feeling like um maybe i don't know that it could be more or better because it could be you never know yeah we're not gatekeeping emotions this year. You can qu- you can no. call it a good year, but it not all be good. This you year was a fucking bad. yeah. This year was a fucking great year. However, it was also I'm a shit ass f- year. <laughs> yeah, it is. A, it's been a shit ass year. So it was a great year because I had my daughter, and I'm so happy. God bless her. Yeah. But also, I was pregnant for most of the year. <laughs> Which sucks. That was really hard. That was really hard. Bit so, of yin and yang, you know what I'm saying? It's such a yin and yang. And uh, like this, the podcast doing what it did was 
fucking incredible. Like, I don't want to say that it wasn't. But also, it brought a whole new um, level of, like, people that can now have a say in my life. That yeah. I never, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. I know there's not a lot of people that will ever understand it, but you understand it <laughs> because you, for us, you don't look I, at creators and realize um, the backside of it a lot of times. Yeah. And I feel so fucking grateful. Like, <laughs> sorry, I said that word weird. So I was like so intensely saying it wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so fucking grateful that, like, our community like our listeners are yes are like so quick to remind themselves and remind each other that we are humans humans yeah (laughs) yes because they hold us accountable first of all and but they don't expect us not to fuck up and they give us a bit of grace when we do because they know that if we are, it's unintentional. It's something yes. that we're not hateful people. We're not people that want to put hurt into the world intentionally. So if we mess up, sure, let us know. But also understand that we're human beings who, I mean, that's that's a very unintentional thing when we do it. Because all yeah. we want to do is put good things out there. So if it's ever not 100% good, that's not something we're doing to be malicious ever. And I think that our listeners know that. And sure. like, it's not their job to educate us and it's nope. not their job to um, continuously forgive, mm-hmm. especially when um, they're the ones being affected by the things we say, whether it's intentional or unintentional, yeah. un- unintentionally harmful. Um, but we are met with so much grace and we are met with so much understanding. And like, people knowing that we are doing our absolute best and we're really trying our hardest to like provide all of this stuff. Like we, it, this time last year had no fucking clue what that, was anyone would, that anyone would want our name on a t-shirt. And yes. like now, now people want live shows. People want us to come to their countries. Like we would love to do that. Obviously when it's safe, yeah. but like that's, that I don't think you understand, and maybe you do. <laughs> I don't think I understood. We don't get it still. I and by we, I mean me. <laughs> I, I just mean like, like when I realized that in January we still had we had not it, we were getting two hundred downloads an episode over yep. a ninety day period. So like that was yeah. the we maxed out at two hundred, and now we have episodes with over a hundred thousand downloads. Like I. Uh, less than a year is not enough time for <laughs> us to, to comprehend. Up. Yeah, like what the magnitude of that. Yeah, and we, it's just it's been an amazing, amazing ride, and I'm so grateful that people are allowing us time yes. to catch up. Yeah, I just wanted to put that reminder out there, though. Like, we are. Well, and and it's also because I know recently myself mostly has been um, pulling away from seeing things on Facebook or seeing yeah. things like Instagram DMs. And it's not because of the wonderful people out there. It's because as as wonderful as so many of you are, there are people that like um, aren't. <laughs> So they're going to come after, not come after us. I don't want to say like we're being like hunted down, but it's like. No, there was a time where I was being sent some really scary things. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. There have been people that lit- that literally send us, like there was a death threat that I read that yeah. we got before. Yes. I mean, it's terrifying. So that's a new thing that we're going into. I love what this podcast has done for everybody, but also it's made me realize like, oh shit, some, I mean, it's hard putting yourself out there. And then how much do I want to share of my children? Because yep. yes, so many of you, I want to share my children with you because I know that you love them the way that I love them, but there are also yep. not good people out there that I don't want them exposed to. So yes. everybody who has been like, let's have Noah on again. I would love that. But it's also so scary for me now because of the bigger audience and uh, opening him up to people that I don't know will be as safe with him as you guys are. 
Yeah. So that's it, that's it's such a double edged sword. But like like I said, I'm just I'm grateful for our people. I'm but great- it has been it has been like taking off like a bullet. Like it was yes. so fucking fast. Yeah. Out, seemingly out of nowhere. And yes. it's still going so fast. And um, every time I think I've caught up, it's like, nope, something else <laughs> happens. And yeah. it's, it's, um, it, I can't say it enough. It's amazing. And we're so, so grateful. Like truly, I don't know how to convey how grateful we are, but this has been really, really fucking fast. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot to take in in a year. And I want to, um, really stress that it has nothing to do with financial or making it a career. What I said before was a hundred percent my goal. So the community wise, what I see you guys doing for each other when we can't do it for you, that is all I wanted. And when I got we- it. When we got off the live show and people were still chatting and even when we were doing our meet and greets and people were chatting and like helping each crying. other, <laughs> it was so emotional to see you guys making me connections. Cry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like the, the groups that people are making and the game nights that people are having, like it's beautiful. Uh, it's, we can't, we, we're just going to keep blabbing and blabbing. So like I, that was my one. That's not us. That's you guys. That, that is was, you guys 100%. That was why I listed social media as one of my, one of the things I'm most grateful for because like we were so anti TikTok, but like TikTok's what's connected us with everyone. Like that's oh how people, a, so many people got introduced to us. But then like YouTube, so many people are getting introduced to us there. Now people are sharing on their stories about us and their Spotify wrapped. And now other people are finding us that way. And so like you don't understand the power that like i i didn't understand the power words had until we just started sharing them yeah. and now you have so much power in what you share yeah. and it's making a huge difference and like it is it's making a difference for us but like the messages we're receiving from people who are like hey my aunt my sister my friend my cousin shared your podcast with me and it saved my life like ugh you you sharing something that you thought was funny could save someone's life. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying share our podcast, save a life, but <laughs> but I'm saying like you have that power like to yeah. share like your voice matters. Mm-hmm. Your voice matters. And you connecting people together and helping them find a friend and helping them find community, like it's been really powerful this year to see everyone has. together in that way. So thank you. I'm so grateful for all of you. That's That was one of my first things. Um, my next was therapy. <laughs> because, and I've already said why that, um, what that did for me. Yes. Therapy for you. Listen, therapy is something that I'm putting on my 2022. Like that's something I need to commit to for. I've been starting a little bit, but like not weekly. And I need to be going weekly. I should yeah. probably be going bi-weekly. <laughs> if I'm being yeah. honest. Might as well. But, but you it's can always scale that, back. <laughs> I know. Well, it's something too that you said before. And I'm not sure if you said it on the podcast or if you just said it to me. But it is like an interesting... What you and I are going through is something that like, I feel like the average person or therapist like can't understand. Because it's something that like I try to talk about with people and they're like, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, but (laughs) like it's, it's a lot. And, um, as amazing it is, sometimes it's, it's the amazing parts that make it hard to like fathom too. It's like almost a guilt. I think Uh like, I don't want to say survivor's guilt, but something akin to that where it's like, why me? Why me? You know? And that's but weird. also I feel like there is this um what's the word? Oh it's the it's the oldest daughter symptom. Do you know what I'm talking about? Savior complex. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's almost like I felt this when I was a teacher. Because when I was a teacher, I had 10 to 20 students that I was responsible for. Every day I taught high school special ed. Um, so like my class sizes were smaller. So 10 to 20 students that I was responsible for every day. And 
I would have parents calling in about their specific student and they would have a whole list of things that they needed and that they, that was so fucking important for their child. And I believe that. I believe that was so fucking important for their child. But there was 10 to 20 of them. Yeah. And one of me. And all yes. 10 to 20 of those parents had that same passionate feeling about the importance of the things their child needed. Yes. And now I feel that same thing but with hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's incredibly overwhelming. And so it's like, I want to do all that I can to give everyone everything that they need yes. to feel whole. Um, but I'm only one person. But I, yeah. And I don't want to lose myself either because yeah. like, that's not fair. And no one's asking me to do that. And right. so it's like a weird balance because like, everyone matters so fucking much to me and yeah. I don't want anyone to feel like they're not seen because yes. that was something that I've battled for a long time is not feeling like I was seen or people notice like when I was hurting or what I needed. And so I want to be like, I see you, I see when you're hurting, I see what you need and let me be the one to provide it. But like, there's so many now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Well, it yeah. reminds me, there was somebody who tried to get into the Fangents page, and I personally read all of your stuff. <laughs> I just want to say that now, because this person didn't know that. And her response to, like, what was your favorite, whatever, she said, these girls seem so relatable, and I want to see if it's an act or not. <gasps> That's what she said. And I was like, let her in. Fucking yeah. <laughs> because for sure, I want you to know. But I understand that that's a thing. Because there's, yeah. so, much, there's so many like influencer and oh, HP support yeah. assistants. Sorry, it just popped up on my screen. <laughs> You're fine. But like there's so much of like, um, not it's not fake. It's just performative. exaggerated. Performative, for sure. And yeah. so I can understand her being like, are they just acting relatable so that whatever? Yeah. But like, truly, we are just two people. Like, like I could not be... I actually sometimes am embarrassed when like my family listens because <laughs> they'll be like, Sierra, maybe tone it down on, on the well, poop <laughs> when I was talking about my pubes and shaving my nipples, I was like, yes. do I say that I shaved my nipples? But then I'm like, someone shaves their nipples. Someone and they else want to say it. Yes. Someone yes. else shaves their nipples and they don't want to say that they shave their nipples because they yeah. don't think that they're supposed to have hair on their nipples. But I'm going to say we I all have do. hairy nipples. <laughs> and if, if I'm the only one with hairy nipples, then at least no, I know I, I need to go to the doctor. Okay. <laughs> like you don't. Something's it's so going to happen. Something's going to happen either. I'm going to get a doctor's appointment or someone else is going to feel less alone. Like that's <laughs> one of two things is going to happen here. Exactly. That's exactly it. So yeah, it's, it's been a beautiful thing to see, but we are just, we're just, we want to give you guys so much more of ourselves that we can. I can't stress that enough. I can't, I can't stress how much we were caring about you before I knew you existed. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, you ever heard the song by Savage Garden? I knew I loved you before I met you. That, that was me. Cry like a goddamn baby. That's that our song. To you bitches. We're, we're <laughs> dedicating that song to you. It was though. Like I was thinking about being your safe space before I knew that you cared about me. <laughs> <laughs> or needed one. Or needed one. Or, or knew who would give a shit about what we had to say. Yeah. I was thinking about it. And honestly, like, there's so many things that we were afraid of, that we were afraid to talk about, that now, like, you guys have almost become our safe space in the same yeah, way. Like, 100%. the strength the strength that we've gotten from your support, like, is, I can't even explain it. I would have never talked about, and I don't, I think you would agree, we would never have talked about our abuse. Oh, never, never. That was something, if you go back to the early episodes, that I hint at a lot, but I never fully, fully exposed. When I talked about Did it we on we talk the about that that's why we stopped speaking for a year? I think so. I'm sure. But well, we could we probably talk, do we, a Q&A episode. 
Well, we in our first Q and A, we talked about how we stopped talking for a year, but we never said why. Why? Yeah, we should. We 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 can deep dive into that. Well, again, I think that's because we were tiptoeing around it. I was afraid. Yes. I was literally afraid. You guys, yes. you say I give you strength and support and things like that. You guys gave me the strength to speak about that because that was something that I was going to like take to the grave with me. I didn't tell my family. It took over what three years to even tell you about. Like yeah. it was, even though I knew everybody knew, but yeah. nobody knew the actual what happened. Cause I, oh, I yeah, lied no, no, about no. it for so long or hit it yeah. or, you know, so that was something that was a huge and God, you guys, what a weight off my, I can't even explain what a weight off my shoulders that was. You can cut this if you want. Um, this happened last night. I had a dream that you and I were at a party. Why? I don't know. But uh, it was like Corey's work party, which was weird. And he was ignoring me and I was mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you and I were, you and I, we, I was walking around just like alone and you were alone and we walked by and you were like, oh, I feel like I have no friends here. And I was like, do you want to hang out? Like what? We're... <laughs> But like in my dream, I was like, me too. Let's hang out. And you were like, cool. So we went off and we were just like hanging out in like a garden area of this big party. Ew. And that there was these, sorry, guys, this is a dream. So don't get mad at me. But there was two police officers for some reason that came up to us and like were harassing us for some reason for being there. And then they pulled out weapons and were going to like hurt us. And the person that I have, like, abuse-wise, walked out of the bushes and shot them and was like, I saved you guys. Look, I'm the hero kind of thing. Look, they were going to hurt you, and I saved you. And he was running away because backup was coming, and you grabbed a gun, and you shot. Oh, oh, because he also hit me with a sh- in the shoulder with one of the bullets as he was shooting the bad people but was like see i saved you even though he hit me and i was bleeding out and so you hit him like 15 times you didn't stop until there was no more bullets left (laughs) and then i was laying on the ground like this and you laid down on the ground with me and you held my hand and you go see you're free now you're free (laughs) oh my god (laughs) i forgot to tell you about that yeah (laughs) what a horrific horrific thing to put in the episode that I have to listen to next year. <laughs> you can cut it out if you want. But oh my god. I was like in tears when I woke up because it was so like you literally held my hand and were like see you're free. You're oh free. Oh my god. I was like Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. I'm so Holy sorry. Heck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was so sorry that's a terrifying dream it was awful i woke up and i was like oh my god i had to check my shoulder wow. make sure i wasn't i wasn't hit oh good <laughs> just so you know i was good <laughs> good oh my gosh thank goodness thank you well um so anyways <laughs> um i'm also thankful that i got to travel this year and for the vaccine <laughs> oh my god so much i need a. Uh, I got a, an appointment to get the booster so well, I think I have to wait now that I've got the vid, but um, you I know, wanted to say a shout told, out. To- oh, sorry. I was going to say they told me that yeah. Noah did have to. <laughs> so you might not have to. Anyways, go on. I'll ask, but I just want to shout out to any healthcare professional because like, oh my God, mentioning the vaccine, like if you're listening and you're a healthcare professional, thank you so much for this year. Like I, everything that you're doing is going underserved and undernoticed and underappreciated and i just want to say thank you so 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 much for all yeah. the work you're putting in yeah we know i mean i know from second hand just hearing like my sister works in the in emergency room and so i hear but yeah. um there is not the fact that i have an issue with hospitals <laughs> But you guys need to be paid so much more than you are. And the fact that they're expecting as much as they are and you're still not getting what you deserve is just like, if there's something I can do for that, I 100% <laughs> think, like, you guys need to be paid. Who do I have to write? Who do, who do I have to talk to? <laughs> yeah. Big Pharma, what's going on? But seriously, yeah. I there's not enough that Grandpa people Joe. pay you. <laughs> seriously, for what you're doing. It's, it's absolutely... 
it's thankless work and it's also you're just I know that so many of you are still Dangerous getting like work. Yeah. Yeah. You're getting like berated for trying to help. And I cannot imagine how that feels on a daily basis. So I heard some, I saw something the other day that pissed me off so bad that was like, um, someone mentioned something pandemic related, mask related or something vaccine related. And it was like, oh, you guys are still playing pandemic. And I wanted to be like, do you know how fucking insulting that is? Like, could you imagine if, um, a veteran came yeah. home and was like either in their uniform or mentioned something about the military and he goes, oh, you're still playing war? Like... A hundred percent. Because here's the thing, and if anybody gets offended that that is a, it's an analogy you use, then you don't know somebody who's been in healthcare right now because what they are going through is absolute. Like, I will be shocked if there's not like a wave of PTSD, like trauma related. 100% in the healthcare system. It is horrifying the things that they have to right. see. And again, I'm, I'm hearing some of this from my sister who is, um, She's not a nurse or a doctor. Like, she is just working, like, front lines in the, you know, like, getting people in. And still, some of the things that she has to see is horrifying. Yeah. Some of the things that she has to hear about or... Uh, it's They've got 24-hour waits. Yeah. Yes. Literally. She has... She's told us we've seen that there is, like, 24 hours, 18 hours. Like, that's a normal... ER wait right now and it's not because they don't want you back there it's because they don't have the staff and they don't have the room and they don't have the supplies right now like right. we are at an all time it's scary what's happening right now yeah. so the yeah. fact that people are still taking it that lightly is it's offensive and I'm not even like oh you're offended by it but that's fucking so offensive to the people yeah. that it's it's directly right. harming right. so fuck you person <laughs> Whoever said that. Whoever you are, fuck off. <laughs> um, and the last one I'm thankful for is my family. <laughs> I'm thankful for your family, too. <laughs> one thing... Okay, I don't know if this is going to resonate with anyone. We've, we're have we talking for so long. Shocker. But um, I don't know if this is going to resonate with anybody. But I had an aha moment that kind of allowed me to, and I don't know if I've talked about this with you, maybe I have, that has allowed me to move from um, playing adult to fucking adult. Okay? Yes. So, I, I haven't talking, had that yet, but... <laughs> I was talking to Barbara. Okay. And I was talking about my family, and I kept saying, my family, my family, my family. And I've even caught myself saying, my house, and I'm referencing my parents' house. Yes. Yes. And so Barbara, when I was saying my family, she goes, when you're saying that, who are you talking about? Are you talking about Shane and your children or are you talking about your, your parents, parents and your and sisters? Your sisters. Mm -hmm. And I said, my parents and my sisters. And she goes, Jerry, that's your extended family. Your family is Shane and your children. And I was like, oh, I just got goosebumps, Barbara. Right? <laughs> You just gave me a realization. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, the reason that I'm not owning the fact that I'm a fucking adult, that I'm a wife and a mother and that I run this household and that I'm a business I owner. Fucking is run because shit. <laughs> I in my head am still a kid in my parents' house. Yes. That That's I'm still the family. a family. Yes, that my role is the eldest daughter of that family. Yes. That's not who I am. That's no. not my role. My role no. is mother wife well human first but like mother and wife yes. that's what it is a hundred percent god that is great that that is right yeah because i always think that too i'm like my family my mom my sister and i had to have that discussion with my sister the other day because i love going on family vacations and when i say family i mean my mom my sister for a long time it was just me and noah so going on a family vacation was me and noah and my mom and my sister and my yep. sister said something about that and she's like, well, me, you, and Noah. And I was like, well, what about Corey and Sawyer? <laughs> like, it yeah. was, she was expecting me to take the kids. And I was like, but that is, I love you guys. But I have a family now. Like, these yeah. are, this is my family. And I don't want to go on vacations if my whole family can't come. 
you yeah. know, it sucks, but we had so many years. We had a good run yeah. of family vacations. Most people don't get yeah. that long. But yeah, I totally know what you mean. I want to talk about like family system kind of things like that sometime in the future. So if you guys liked that little ditty, I think we should talk about that further. But I'll end I'll end with what we should manifest based on our zodiac signs. Yay. (laughs) Okay. Gemini, this is me. Okay. And any of you Geminis, so sorry that I'm only doing three of these guys. Okay. (laughs) Everyone makes mistakes, has issues, and can't do it all. No one is perfect. (laughs) <laughs> Mid- middle finger to whoever wrote this <laughs> but, like, that yeah, doesn't like... mean, but that doesn't mean you aren't critical of yourself at times rather than make internal notes or comments about yourself and all that you do try to be more gentle in your thoughts Ooh. give yourself kindness and love instead of allowing negative sentiments to fill your heart and mind positive vibes only we don't do positive vibes only but no. but I'm going to go into 2022 Giving myself grace, remembering I'm human. Yes. And continuing to grow <laughs> and Good. heal. Good. That's what I'm doing with 2022. Yes. Okay. Cancer. Give it to me. <laughs> you love your squad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Connect with a new group of people this year who can help blossom your career. Wait, I want to connect with a new group of people that are going to boss in my career? I'm going to have an issue with that, okay? (laughs) I was like, I don't know about that. They'll help you manifest the friendly and helpful professional environment that you're searching for this year, which will give you the strength and motivation to attain greatness in all you do. Okay. Okay. That is kind of what you're looking for. Are those my therapists? (laughs) Is it going to be a team (laughs) of therapists? Yes. We need multiple people on deck. How okay. many do I need? All right. This is for our men. Okay. okay. Give me the Sag. Or Saggies. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my Saggies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that gave me like Irish vibes. Is it Irish or Scottish? Saggies. Hi, Saggy. That's, I don't that's know. <laughs> definitely Scottish. <laughs> so sorry to our Scottish listeners. <laughs> but also, I love you. I, I love do love you, so I'm sorry Scot- that I fucked that up. Scotland? Can we go to Scotland sometime? I'd love I think, to. I think we have to. I think we have to do a European a tour. tour. I'm doing a tour worldwide, baby. I am <laughs> manifesting the shit out of that. <laughs> Manifest the tour, everyone. Okay. Want to go to Scotland? <laughs> <laughs> Lately, you've been. This is okay, Sagittarius. Lately, you've been taking on a great deal of energy from others, which is why it's important for you to create a spiritual space that allows you to have peace of mind. Shane has been taking on so much fucking shit for us. <laughs> yeah, he really has. But I feel like. But tell him 100%. I can do. I can do some. <laughs> no, the shit that he's doing, you don't want to do. I don't okay. want to. Do. <laughs> okay. I promise you. I just want him to take time to also do his stuff. Okay. That's true. Uh, aligning with a spiritual practice like yoga or meditation will help you feel grounded and be able to think clearly about your needs without outside noise and, noise and pressure creeping in your brain. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll tell him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just pictured Corey trying to do yoga and it was the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> I need Shane and Corey to do like couples yoga. <laughs> Dude, if we ever have time, if we, if you just f- forget about photography for a minute, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if we would do like YouTube videos, I feel like some of that shit would be so funny. Like oh. the men, the men could be involved, Couple's and then we, c- we could do like you know drunk cooking, like we've said, because I feel like drunk cooking would be or baking. I fucking oh, hate. I baking. just got sourdough stuff for Christmas. Let's do I got it. all this stuff to make it, but I don't have the starter. So, like, if you if there's any sourdough bakers out there, like, help me, help me, okay? I need <laughs> like, I need an easy bake oven style because. <laughs> oh, and tell I us, be bothered. Tell us in the comments below if you would even watch that shit. <laughs> oh yeah, tell us because I also I want watercolor know. stuff. Sierra and I could follow a Bob Ross tutorial, <laughs> although he doesn't do watercolor. I feel I'm like it would it. just we'll do our be. Best. A- it would be like a live show that we did, but like with everything, we could just constantly do like a little, let's do it. It's a, that is a lot of work on the back end. It's so <laughs> much. It's, 
It's we'll so talk much. about it. Maybe like one a month. You Just know like- I love adding stuff to my plate <laughs> when it's got no more room. <laughs> well, that's why I said only if you like, if you throw away photography. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. No, I've got 15 weddings next year. I can't do that. So we'll, but we'll wait. And we'll wait. 2023, we'll just, we'll In- see. Okay. That's all I have. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I already said what I'm taking to 2022. You want to take anything to 2022? Um, I want us to go on tour. I want to meet some of you lovely, lovely, beautiful people in person. Yes. Uh, I want to obviously find joy in things again. <laughs> I'd love to feel happiness without alcohol. <laughs> that would feel so fun. That would be good. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. I just want to continue. I want to continue being for you guys what you are for me. So that's it. That's all I, I got. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the that on 2021. I cannot fucking believe it. Holy shit. <laughs> We're going to be in 2022. <laughs> oh my God. Thanks, everyone. Yes. This has been it's wonderful. Been amazing. We will see you next week. And for sure, in January, Patreon is coming. Please be on the lookout for that. We will be posting the link as soon as we have that information for you. Yes. As soon as we know, you know. I promise. And all of the, we will have three bonus episodes from December to put up. All of our past episodes are going to be on there, both audio and video. So it is coming. It is coming in January. It got pushed back one more time. So, so fucking sorry about that. But it's coming. Okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's it, everybody. Again, we love you so much. And we will see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.